Good morning from the Tabernacle of David Prophetic Dance Center in Jerusalem. Well, uh, it's been an interesting overnight with the Lord and I'm um, feeling revived and invigorated after going through some days of excruciating screaming pain of a deep, deep uh, muscle spasm in my side. But God is doing amazing things in us when we are flat out and we know that we have nothing to do with any of um, the process. In other words, when we're sleeping and when we're resting, I think God does his most perfect work and we can't take any credit for it because we know that it was him. And unfortunately, sometimes we have to be flat out uh, to let God just do whatever he wants to do because he brings jewels out of what seems to be horrific at the time. I wanted to speak to you about not being afraid to step out into your destiny. The voice of your adversary, the enemy of your soul, would say, who do you think you are? And whenever you hear, who do you think you are, it's never God. It's a very negative statement. Who do you think you are? You know, the enemy mocks God and it says in God's word he will not be mocked you know especially as a woman um, I'm a leader which means I also need to be a good follower to those God would call me to be a follower of yes I'm a follower of Yeshua um, but if I came under the leadership of whomever God would have it would have to be somebody that I respect of course of course of course um, but as I'm preparing now for an event at the Tabernacle of David this week, the Lord is preparing me, giving me many things um, that I'm getting very excited about to, um, to encourage the women with. And especially as a woman uh, and living in Jerusalem, the enemy could absolutely try to intimidate. And I wanna encourage you, woman or man, do not be afraid to step out into your destiny because if you're called to be a leader, of course, the enemy is going to try to intimidate you and scare you so that you don't step up and into your call. Um, in Israel, this, it's the patriarchal system, you know, of the, the Bible. It was the patriarchal system um, in the Hebrew scriptures, and many have followed that. And so uh, it can be intimidating all the more for a woman, but... God says, pay no attention to that. Look at me. Keep your eyes on me. The other thing I wanted to switch topics about is um, I feel like there's a message to women, uh, not just in one culture, many cultures. I don't know so much in Israel, maybe a little bit, but I think a lot more in other nations, that you shouldn't look your age. Well, why not? You know, I'm uh, nearly 60. I'm not 60, but let's say short short of 60. And um, I'm embracing my grays. Why, why would I think that I'm supposed to be somebody that I'm not? I'm not ashamed to be exactly who I am and the age that I am. I've earned these grays. I've lived a life and I've got much more to go. God knows no one knows um, when God will take us home. It's completely uh, God's business and nobody else knows. Um, but I have nothing to be ashamed of. My goodness, I'm embracing my grays. It's, it's a new season of life and it's wonderful. It's wonderful to not have to put on any airs, to be exactly who you've been made to be. And it's I really feel like there's this message on women that you are supposed to try to look younger. You're supposed to hide your age. For what? For who? God loves us. He's very proud of us. He is proud of his loved ones, the ones who choose to follow after him. The Bible says it's impossible um, without faith. In him, it's impossible to please him. He just wants us to believe. The works of God is to believe on the one that the Father sent, which is Yeshua, who bridges us back to God. So I want to encourage you today, 
Do not be in fear. Come out of agreement with fear. Step up and step out in your call, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what man thinks. I'm not here to please man. And I will tell you that when you follow the Lord, you will lose people. God will cut people out of your life. We are in a time, I feel like the road is narrowing. And the Bible says, Yeshua says, um, those who follow after him are taking the narrow road. Uh, wide is the road that leads to destruction. Narrow is the path that follows after him. The last part was a paraphrase, but I feel like the roads are narrowing now, and we really do need to be uh, live our lives circumspectly before the Lord, and we need to be very intentional about our lives, what we do, what we say, whom we're with, who we spend time with, all of it. Let's get with like-minded people, like-spirited people, and... Um, I'm not here to please man. I'm here to please God. And I know that I'll have to make big decisions. People won't like it. One of the ways to know that you need more healing is when we take offense, when somebody makes a decision that's best for their life and we get offended, that's a sign that we need some more healing because I believe God wants, to go, wants us to go into mercy and compassion rather than anger when we get angry because people are not doing what we want them to do the problem is ours it's not theirs so there's still more healing to be done god bless you from the city of the great king Yerushalayim.